Dear friend, 2023 is green in my synesthet mind. Green, the color of hope and abundance, the color of growth, which is my word of the year. Today I'll be starting a vulnerable series as I'll be sharing with you my goals and aspirations for each month of 2023. My hope is to inspire you to make the most of your year and to take things one step at a time. So get something to drink, your planning outlet of choice, get comfortable and let's start. Part 1. Reflecting on the old. 2022 was chaotic. The first half was basically me struggling to move back to Portugal and the second half was me trying to adapt to a new rhythm and to make up for lost time with my family and friends. Part 2. Looking forward to the new. Starting with 1. Monthly goals. So, my January goals include 5 categories. 1. I want to brainstorm and outline my current WIP, Project Snow. 2. I want to draw something for a secret project which I cannot share yet. 3. I want to complete 4 units of my HSK3 manual. 4. I want to research how to start a balcony garden. And 5. I want to hit 1000 subscribers and hopefully 4000 watch hours, which are the requirements to get monetized on YouTube. 2. Meaningful habits. Based not only on my January goals, but on my early goals as well, there are a few habits that I'll be keeping track of throughout the month and throughout the year. I chose only the most essential habits to track because for me the purpose of habit tracking is not to make sure that I do as much as I can, but to make sure that I have a balance between work and self-care and playtime which together are meant to help me fulfill my dreams. So here's what we have. Journaling, which is the first thing I do every day. Writing, which is the main habit towards my dream of becoming a successfully published author. Reading, but I might as well write breathing, right? Filming slash editing, because I really want this community to be a bigger part of my life. Hydrating, which is not that hard for me, being that I'm constantly drinking something. Doing skincare, which I've become really bad at ever since I arrived in Portugal. I really want to get back into that self-care habit. Being active, which basically means getting out of the house. The ideal form of activity for me would be either to go running or do yoga, but at this point I'm also happy with just going for a walk. And finally, studying two pages of Chinese, which I intend to do for an hour every weekday. Three, visualization. Okay, now on to the vision board. Here's the vibe I want to indulge in this January. Crisp early mornings, cozy sweaters, Messy notebooks, piping hot coffee and tea and hot chocolate, in that order throughout the day by the way. Chatty evening walks, unforgettable dates, writing epiphanies, and of course, lots and lots of reading. And on that note, I thought I would share with you some of the books that I want to read this month. 4. Books I want to read. I'm a very moody reader though, so I might not get to all of these, but here they are. The first one is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zavine. 
this one you can see i've already started i'm actually just over halfway through tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow is a contemporary novel pitched as two friends often in love but never lovers come together as creative partners in the world of video game design where success brings them fame joy tragedy duplicity and ultimately a kind of immortality and the second one the shadow of the wind by carlos ruiz zafon which i haven't started yet and i've been wanting to read for many many years now and i haven't yet and i finally got around to buying a copy for myself so this is the second one the shadow of the wind is a historical fantasy novel about books and that's basically all i need to know about it to be honest and because I'm a slow reader, the next two books that I want to read are actually audiobooks. Audiobooks really help me get more books read throughout the month. So the first one is The Bear and the Nightingale. And the second one is Where the Forest Meets the Stars. Five, current favorites. Next, I wanted to share with you some of the things I've enjoyed recently. And this month I thought I would share a book, a movie, a song. Let me know in the comments what kind of favorites you'd like me to share with you next time. Okay, so for the book we have Starting Point by Hayao Miyazaki. Starting Point is the first of two books that together constitute Hayao Miyazaki's memoir. Hayao Miyazaki is the director of Ghibli and Ghibli movies are arguably some of the best animation movies in the world. And although a lot of the essays in this book are, in fact, about animation, a lot of the wisdom applies to creativity and art in general. So I can say I really learned a lot from this book and I think any artist or Ghibli fan would enjoy it. For the movie, if you haven't watched it yet, just do it. Do it tonight, do it alone. It's called About Time and I watched it recently and it's become one of my favorites of all time. Go into a dark place. Think of the moment you're going to and you'll find yourself there. About Time is a comedy drama movie with a touch of fantasy. But don't be fooled by the text. This story is so real and so touching and it really makes you think about your own life. It's absolutely wonderful. I went into it knowing next to nothing and I think it was a really good choice. So yeah, let me know if you liked it when you watch it. Next we have a song which I can't play due to copyright but I'll leave some of the lyrics on the screen just to leave you a teaser. So this is called Forever by Lewis Capaldi. I just love it so much. And last but not least, I like to draw a card each month and see what my interpretation of it is. I really like to use it for journaling throughout the month or just to keep it in mind. I use an app called Labyrinthus and for January, I got the upright page of wands and the message that came with it was there is so much in this world that can fill me with awe and wonder which I love because January is truly going to be about the little things in my life overall, the meaning of the page of wands is exploration, excitement, freedom, energy and fearlessness which are all things I want to have present this month and with that, I hope to have inspired you to spend some time on yourself this month and to follow through with your goals and aspirations. Let me know what they are in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye!